Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay. So I've had people hitting me lately, probably for the past couple months, you know, emails, some comments, asking me, what's up with this dude, Anton Daniels? He appears to be a super coon. What's up with this guy? And believe it or not, most of these emails, if not all, have come from black men or in the comments. Now, this guy, Anton Daniels, I like to stay away from topics like this, but I, even though I've touched them before because a lot of people are connected to these type of guys and they get butt hurt because he falls into the category of the black man versus black woman gender war, which was created by white supremacists, cyst, and pushed by Negro puppets, okay? On both sides, on both sides. So I'm like, okay, man. The reason why, first off, people, that people are asking about this guy, Anton Daniels, is because he's a popular guy. He appears to be a businessman. He's in the algorithms. He appears to be successful on YouTube. He's not dumb. He can speak well. And he does interviews with other people that other people, you know, people want to see and things like that. So he's, he's been out in these algorithms for years. Some people uh, get mad at him because he's a Trump supporter. Other people uh, appreciate what he says as far as black people are leaving the Democratic plantation and things like that. They like this information. Uh, so it, it goes both ways is whatever. You know what I mean? But people have been saying, yo, this guy's really bugging out, man. They're saying that black people have focused, that he said that black people are focusing on racism too much. I don't know if he said that. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. I'm not calling the people who said that he said that liars or nothing like that. But if these subs said it, well, he must have said it. But it doesn't matter whether he said that or not. My whole thing about this guy, Anton Daniels, the message will not change whether he said that or not. You know what I mean? I don't have to watch many Anton Daniel videos at all. I'm not really into the people who come on and speak on, on anybody's platform too much, you know, except guys who do their own thing, independent guys who I like to hear speak sometimes, definitely not in this genre. And um, I watched Anton videos, Anton Daniels videos a couple times in the past. Uh, I think the last time that I watched, he was having a family fight with like his nephew or something like that at a family gathering. That's the last time that I actually watched in depth. I've also seen clips that people have sent to me you know, when he had like Fleece Johnson on the show and some, you know, short clips, but I, I, you know, not into watching, you know, all the way, but it didn't take long for me to understand what kind of person or who this was from when I, you know, the, the couple hours that I put in watching. Okay. Now there are people saying that this dude's an all out coon. And a lot of people say that this guy's a cornball. Now, I don't know if he's an all-out coon, because a coon is subjective. Maybe he is, okay? But I'll tell you what's wrong with people like this guy, Anton Daniels, and other guys like him. There are a lot of them. Anton Daniels has a deep-rooted issue with black people. Yes, he has a deep-rooted issue with black people. We all have issues with our own people. But you have guys who are so scarred and hurt that their message always flips into almost appearing to sound like a white supremacist, okay? I think that Anton Daniels is one of those people. So he's one of those people that sometimes has good information for people in whatever he's good at, whatever, fine, real estate, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, for people who want to learn. But his message to these people always gets distorted because they can't let go of the hurt and pain that they're dealing with from their youth and coming up. And it always spoils their message. They can't get past their childhoods. There are a lot of guys like him, okay? Now, as we know people where we're from in our hoods and our areas, the hood is rough, okay? The hood is rough. And guys like Anton Daniels, when they were younger, they were called corny, they were called cornballs, primarily by the girls at this age that, you know, where the girls are supposed to be liking them, they're liking the girls. These guys like Anton Daniels were always called corny and cornballs and things like that. 
So you got to understand, guys like him, they grew up feeling black, ugly, and corny, just upset. And when they became adults, they just couldn't let it go. I've met many guys, uh, or you see a lot of these guys uh, on social media. A lot of these guys really came out more during the reign of Kevin Samuels in this thing called Manosphere. A lot of these guys became more vocal. A lot of these guys are like Anton Daniels. They grew up in areas where their own people made them feel like there were nothing. The girls made them feel ugly, okay? And they were often called corny. And when they become adults, regardless of what they do or what kind of success they may get, they always go back to that because they just never get over it. They can't get over it. And most of this scarring that they deal with comes from the women, the girls at this time, the young girls when they were growing up. Y'all know the hood is rough. The hood is rough, man. Because, you know, as a culture, yeah, we do prioritize a lot of the wrong things. You know, we do prioritize a lot of the wrong things. A lot of times in our culture, we put the cart before the horse. We prioritize things like showing off to make our own people feel less than. We prioritize Negro celebrity shine bones who are doing things what they were and people don't even know us or care about us at all. We prioritize singing, dancing, athletics, rapping, you know, having brand name clothes, things like that. You know, you can look at now what's taking priority amongst a lot of old people. We're talking about people in their 50s in our community. Diddy and Big Meech and things like that. You know, they're really into this type of stuff. So we know that we're, we're from in a lot of our communities. We prioritize a lot of things that aren't that important. Okay? With that being said, there are a lot of these guys like Anton Daniels who just can't get over what happened to them in their youths. Okay? You could tell that Anton Daniels is still scarred from his youth, okay? At the time when you're young and supposed to be building a reputation as far as who you're going to be in your hood, in your community, in your city, or whatever, whatever, wherever you're from, at the time, at that age, you know, Anton Daniels established that he was going to be a cornball. Corn syrup just dripping off of him. It's very obvious. The girls didn't like him at all, okay? You know... And this issue with him being a cornball, does it come from black people prioritizing the wrong things? Maybe so. Okay, maybe so. Possibly. But here's the thing. Not always. Some people who actually say or do the right thing are actually really cornballs. You got to understand that. Because I remember coming up, there were guys who did everything wrong. OK, they were in the streets getting in trouble. They were fighting, running around, helping, jumping people, holding people's drugs like straight uh, uh, goofballs, not getting anything for it, not going to school, constantly getting in trouble. You know, some of these guys even got blown away as teenagers, never got a chance. OK, a lot of these guys were cornballs as well. OK, a lot of these guys, these guys were the complete opposite of people like Anton Daniels and others, you know, who say, OK, well, Black people call other black people, young. let's say primarily young black men, corny when they're doing the right thing. They're cornballs, not so much always, okay? You got to understand, there are a lot of cornballs who were doing all the wrong thing also. But you get a lot of our people who say, oh, well, you know, we always call black people, young black men, cornballs who do the right thing. Now, I agree that is true to, a, to an extent due to the, the, the uh, dysfunction in our hoods and our communities. OK, but you got to understand, there are also guys like Anton Daniels who claims he did everything right. I did the right thing. I didn't do this. this. There are a lot of guys like this who are really cornballs. OK, many of these Negroes are really corny, like Anton Daniels. And, you know, you, you see these guys, the fresh and fit boys. You see a lot of these Negroes. They talk very emotional. They sit around and talk about women all the time and. A lot of these guys, again, they, a lot of these guys came out of that era, you know, Kevin Samuel era. They got more vocal because they felt like they had some strength to ride. OK. So you have a lot of these people who are saying things like, oh, black people are always saying whenever a young black man or teenager does everything right, he's a cornball. Not so much always true. A lot of these guys are cornballs. And then also, in addition, there are guys who did everything right. We could take somebody who was the complete opposite coming up as Anton Daniels did everything wrong. And he could have been a cornball, too. You know what I mean? Corn syrup dripping off of all of them. 
So I know guys that did everything right. Matter had a few hiccups coming up in the hood like most people do, you know, that are much cooler, have much more heart and are much more sturdy people than guys who are outside shooting, running around, robbing people, gunning, doing skid bids at the county jail, all that, okay? So I don't know where that comes from. Sometimes I think for people like Anton Daniels and others, a lot of these guys that, you know, seeped out of the cracks when that whole Manosphere wave was riding that wave of strength, a lot of these guys fall into that category. Now, let me be very clear. I do believe that in our culture, many of our people do prioritize the wrong things with the young men. As a black youth, as a black young man coming up, you know, being called cornballs for the wrong reasons. I, that's true. Okay? But you have other guys and other people like Anton Daniels who were called a cornball that did everything right, and they really are cornballs. Okay? These guys really do have corn syrup, a whole cornfield. Just because they did all the right things and, you know, they did things right, they stayed out of, they stayed out of trouble, they went to, to school, they did this, that don't mean that they can't still be a cornball. Don't get caught up in that. It's just like when people get caught up in, oh, if you talk proper, people say that you're talking white. No, no, some of y'all really talking white. You're not even talking proper. You're just talking white. A lot, a lot of people, remember a lot of people used to say that, oh, if you don't sound like this, you talk proper English, they say you're talking white. No, no, white people don't even talk proper English. You are talking white. So get out of here with that mess. We know what talking white is. So we got these guys like Anton Daniels and quite a other grown men who were bitter and upset because they were always called corny. And, you know, and they say, I'm called corny. They're calling me corny because um, I did all the right things. No, because, you know, these guys are, 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 are following a belief that's grounded in dysfunction and nonsense anyway, which is this belief that a young black man who does all the right thing is a cornball. And they're saying, oh, they're calling me a cornball because of that. No, that's, 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 that's dysfunction in the first place to call a young black man who does everything right a cornball. That's straight dysfunction, okay, and nonsense in our community. So guys like Anton Daniels, they say, oh, well, this is why they call me a cornball. This is why I was a cornball because I was young, okay? No, you're a cornball based off of how you can. We could tell right now in an adult phase, 40 plus, that this guy, Anton Daniels, and many others like him, yes, you are an official cornball, stamped and certified corn syrup dripping off you. You guys are not hard to pick out, okay? You're not hard to pick out. I even see guys in the comments. These are guys who just can't let it go. Everything goes back to their feelings and the little pain that they suffered that they couldn't shake off when they were younger at some point in their life when the girls made them feel ugly and corny and stupid. I just did a video yesterday. You can go check it out. The pinned comment. There's a guy who's talking about, um, not yesterday, I don't know, maybe a couple days ago. The top five, it was about how to avoid being lynched, the top five things that get you lynched. There's a guy in the comments, he's trying to sound clever. He looked at this whole video and he extracted something that he could relate to his little feelings in life. Talking about, oh, well, you know, these women, the young black man whose family went out there searching for him. And I said that it looked sad that there were only women out searching for this young black man who drowned in a tubing incident. He's saying, but those women, they might have had uh, men in their life and they did this. Man, who's talking about that, you Mighty Cone. Who who said anything about these a young black uh, 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 these women having a black man in their life who might have been good and they didn't they didn't uh wasn't with it. what that got to do with me as if this dude right here this young man who drowned couldn't have black men in his family what did that have to do with your situation in your life and these black women when you were young calling you corny and ugly that had nothing to do with the video. You see, these guys always extracted something and, and the hurt always seeps out. They can have success like Anton Daniels. They could do, you know, they could have whatever they say they have and they happy, but they're really not. Okay? So in the, in, in the context of Anton Daniels, when these guys give a message or whatever, even though the information may be good, that hurt and pain will always seep out because they're not over it. People like Anton Daniels and a lot of these guys like him are not over when they were young coming up when they were supposed to have an identity, when the girls called them a cornball. They get older, they're still upset with these women, okay? 
Not, was he called a cornball for the wrong reasons? Possibly so. We know in our culture how we prioritize the wrong things, but he makes it very obvious that as a grown man, yes, you really are a cornball. Okay? You really are a cornball. A lot of these guys are like him. It's not because they did everything right. Okay? So with people like Anton Daniels or whatever, when they give this information, you just got to eat the meat, spit out the bones. If he got some information that's good for you to help in the field that you're in, maybe he has experience in that, whatever, real estate, stock investments, I don't know. Take the information, eat the meat, step, spit out the bones, because when guys like him talk, they're always eventually going to start to sound anti-black. When they keep talking, they'll start to, the rhetoric will start to become of a white supremacist, white American man. And that's only because these guys were, came up, they were scarred by girls, black, young black girls, and maybe even black women in their family. These guys like Anton Daniels, they didn't get any attention for anything from the opposite sex. You know what I'm saying? When they're young. You know, when you're young, you're playing sports, you're doing this. They didn't get any attention for the productive things in the hood, such as, you know, sports. He wasn't a good athlete. He was never in the paper for doing anything, scoring a touchdown or hitting a home run. Was never in for that. Was never known for, you know, being a cool dude, dressing cool. He was never uh, the best poet or rapper or artist, dancer or anything like that. He wasn't the, the guy the, doing the best wheelies on his bike. You know what I mean? Do we prioritize some of these things too much? Yes, we do as black people. We do. But these things aren't actually destructive, but we do prioritize them a little bit too much. But we know how it is where we come from, y'all. This guy, Anton Daniels, and people like him, they didn't get anything for, uh, for the other destructive things that boys get attention for in the hood, the ignorance that we glorify, okay? They didn't get attention for that. He wasn't known as the best fighter for knocking people out with a one-hitter quitter. He wasn't selling drugs. He wasn't known for having girls and getting girls knocked up. He wasn't known for drinking underage. Unfortunately, these are the ignorant things that we glorify in the, in the hood due to dysfunction. So Anton Daniels and people like him, you got to understand, they didn't get attention for anything good or anything bad. So there are groups of guys like him who just can't get over it, and they remain as bitter old men, even when they become older and they can get anything they want. Anton Daniels, from what he appears to show, he can get anything he wants. He can have any woman he wants now. He could buy things he wants, but he's still bitter and can't get over it because money could get him. I mean, money can get you any woman you want, usually, usually, or some, maybe one that looks like what you want her to look like. But he can't get over it. He's still upset. He's still bitter. You know, he's still upset at the time when it was the time for the young ladies to shine and think that they were all that young women. They shine when they're younger. Men can shine older. He's still mad about that. That's just the cycle of life. He's still, he can't get over it. Okay? He's traumatized. That's why the message that he'll give off will always be anti-black. You know, when you continue to listen. And that's because... Primarily, he had issues with what you'll see that he'll be dissing black women. And then you give this, he gives this message. And here's the thing. He's talking to young black men. But there are a lot of young black men who have black women in their life that they love, that held them down. A black mom, a black aunt, grandma, sister. And he's talking to these guys. And, you know, they're going to start to look like, hold up, man. You're doing a little bit too much with that. We get it. It's issues. But you know what I mean? He'll only be able to give the message to hurt little guys like him. You know what I'm saying? Saying things about black women is like, okay, dude, don't you, don't you got a black mom or sister or aunt, something like that? They don't care. These guys don't care. These are cornballs, y'all. They're cornballs. We know that there are always going to be issues with the men, men and women gender. We know that. That's in, that's everywhere. But there's a market for that. The white man found out that there's a market for having these Negroes fight, and then you have these agents who just fall for the okie doke. These are usually hurt people who fall, and they're willing to take whatever attention for that. Or we'll do the work. And this comes on the man's side and the woman's side. Okay? These are all cornballs. Yeah, there are corny cowards that are women, too. You know what I'm saying? There are corny cowards that are women. I had just I just blocked a couple of them from my comments. A couple of, Because sometimes when they leave comments, it's just so stupid and retarded. You're like, what? Basically glorifying white men and saying what black women need to do. I don't I usually don't block people ever. But there are a couple of them that I say, you know, let me get rid of this old stupid bimbo. You know what I mean? But anyway, 
We'll get into the female version of these the, these people a little more. There are plenty of videos on this channel about it. You know what I mean? So it's whatever. But this guy, Anton Daniels, people, for the people who've asked me, that's what's wrong with him. This guy's bitter. He's upset. He's angry because in his youth, he was always called a cornball. He hasn't gotten over it yet. He's still sad. So as these guys get over, you'll notice they try to put a lot of emphasis in things that they think other people can't get, that they need to get attention. Everybody don't need certain name brand things to get attention. You'll notice that people like them, they always put a lot of emphasis on this because deep inside they know that they're, you know, they're ugly. They're ugly and corny, and that's what the girls always called them. And I'm saying ugly because he feels this, that, that way about himself. And they know, oh, I want this attention. I got to have this, this, and this. These are cornballs, y'all. This is why you're hearing more of the coonery come out. You're hearing more of the coonery and the cornballism come out of this guy because he's still upset with black girls when he was young. He hasn't gotten out of that. It's a real mental illness. So he'll continue to do it. And that's why more black men have been contacting me about this. Because even though you know this guy makes all kinds of videos about black women, black men are like, hold up. Now, hold up, man. Is now you see, now you see this old cornball. A lot of these guys from that, what they call the manosphere, they're really coons. They're, they're, you know I mean? they're cornballs. Anyway, people get in the comments. I don't want to make this too long. Easy.